Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly hope you're having a fine day. Now, exactly what this video is about, my main purpose is to thank Rocco Prestia, this fellow right here that's on this card, for helping ESP design this base that I own. I did a video about a week ago, 14 minutes long, and I don't plan on spending 14 minutes here right now. But this gentleman took a year out of his life or whatever have you, helped ESP design this. Uh, Rocco Presti is a famous uh, session bassist. He plays with a jazz ensemble called the Tower of Power, and he did an excellent job. So just Google his name, look him up, and you'll find out what kind of a bassist this guy is. And this is the instrument that he come up with. Now, uh, made this is a five string. They made, I forgot to say this. I'm amending to my other video because there were some things I missed. But they do make this in four string, five string, and six string. I forgot to say that. And also, there is there is designation for the for this set of pickups right here. This is a jazz pickup down here in this bridge, and it is called an Aguilar. 5JHC mean hum canceling pickup and this this split coil single up here is just simply called an Aguilar 5P. Okay. Now another thing I was a little hazy on was these tone controls right here. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, you got one tone control per per pickup. This bottom tone control right here is for this jazz pickup and and this Split precision pickup right here. The tone control is is right up above it. Okay, now these pickups are passive. I forgot to say that part too. They're passive, and the the two way EQ is only enhancing, if you will, the output of those pickups. Forgot to mention that fact. In other words, controlling the the highs and the 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 bass, the treble and the bass and the mids, you know, depending on where you've got that knob set. Okay, and what else did I forget on my other video? Okay, I, I, I told people this was 22 frets, which it is, but because of the way that Rocco's got this, this fretboard shape, you've actually only got 21 and a half pickups, or, or frets, if you can see that, you know, because that one is chopped off, but it doesn't really matter. And I also forgot to say that this is a 34-inch scale neck or 34-inch scale bass, so you can use regular strings on this. Uh, all right, you don't have to use 36, 37s, or whatever have you. And also, there is no on this neck. There's no string trees. I remember a few years ago I had a Fender P bass, and I used to have a lot of trouble. Uh, in other words, the headstock is angled back. There's no need to have, you know, string trees on this. Hope you can see this. And I like a, a angled back headstock more than I do a headstock that requires string trees. Okay, now I hope that I've uh, amended and made things good and and and, and, and give enough praise to Rocco Prestia because he did an excellent job in designing this base. And that's just all there is to it. So check him out on ESP, ESPGuitars.com. There's where you're going to get all more information than what I just blurted out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, go make some music, jump, jibe, and wail. And thank you very much for watching the video.